In this video, we're going to learn how to calculate the electric potential of a conducting sphere. To set this up, let's say that the sphere has a total charge on it of Q distributed over the surface because this is a conducting sphere. And let's say that our sphere's radius is big R, so the distance from the center to the edge of the sphere. And I want you to calculate the potential at some distance from the center little r, and that distance might be outside the sphere or it might be inside the sphere. But let's start with the case where it's outside the sphere. So how would we do this? Well, we can, re we can relate the electric potential or at least the difference in electric potential between two points, so from a point A to a point B, to the electric field by integration. So the difference in potential is the negative integral of e dot dr. And this is equal to delta v, which is v at point b minus v at point a. Now, because this sphere is sitting sort of in the middle of nowhere, I'm going to assume that the potential at a point really, really far away, let's say infinity, is equal to zero. And this is just a common convention that we use to, in, in physics to try and figure out what the potential is at locations nearby a charged object. And so now that we have a reference point, we can calculate the change in potential between some point infinitely far away and some point at a distance r. And so to do that, we just integrate from infinity to some point r and now we just need to figure out what E is, and we need to figure out what dr is. Well, E is just equal to k times q divided by r squared in the r hat direction. So this is the electric field both for a positively charged, or for a point charge, and for a conducting sphere with charge on it. And if you're not familiar with this equation for a conducting sphere, as they say, there is a video for that. Similarly, dr is just a little bit of the line that we're integrating from r to infinity or from infinity to r. dr is just r hat times dr. And this is always going to be true regardless of the path that we're taking as long as we're going on some radial path. dr is just sort of this by definition. So if we plug these two things in, We've got k, q over r squared, r hat, and then we dot that with r hat times dr. So the two r hats cancel each other, their dot product is one, and we're left with the integral from infinity to r. So we can pull out, first of all, we can pull out k and q, which are constants. Now the integral of infinity to r of 1 over r squared dr. Now if I were a mathematician, I would insist this be called r prime and this be called r prime, but I'm not, so I really don't care. So the integral of 1 over r squared is just negative 1 over r, and so the two negative signs will cancel, and we've got kq over r, and we plug in, or r prime if you like, and we plug in r prime equals infinity and r prime equals r. And so the infinity just gives us zero. And so this ends up being kq divided by r. And so this is the potential difference between infinity and some point r. Or if we assume that the potential at infinity is zero, this is the potential at some distance r away from the sphere. But what about inside the sphere? So what if we consider an r that's less than big R? How does the situation change? Well, one thing that we could do is we could figure out what the potential is right at the surface and then try and figure out what the potential is some distance inward, or if we're doing this so that we have symmetry, figure it out at some point on the surface and then figure it out at some distance r. So to figure out what this is on the surface, we just need to plug in little r is equal to big R. And so the potential at the surface is just kq over big R. And now we can use our original equation in terms of delta v 
and the electric field to figure out what the difference is between some point on the surface and inside. So what is the electric field inside a conductor? Well, if you remember, the electric field is just a zero because all the charge is on the surface and it sort of all just cancels out with all the other charge. So the electric field inside the conductor has to be zero. And so the difference in potential we're integrating zero, this is just zero. And so the difference, delta V, between this point and some point inside our sphere is just itself zero. And so the potential inside the sphere, so V at some little r, which is less than our radius, is just the same as what it is on the surface, or KQ over big R. And so we can graph this to make it more clear if this is our distance away from the surface, the potential starts off really, really low, and then it gets bigger and bigger as we get closer to the surface. But then once we hit the surface, our potential stops growing, and it's constant until we get to the center. And this, at this point, it's kq divided by big R. So this is the potential some distance away. And in this region, the because the electric field is zero, the potential is constant because this is inside a conductor. So it sort of looks like the one over R function if we just lop off its, its head, if you will. So this is the general procedure for, for solving these types of problems. First is we, have, we need a reference point, a reference point. And typically this is infinity. So typically we say V at infinity is zero. And then we can figure out what the difference is between infinity and some distance away. We usually call that R, infinity and R. And then finally, we can use, if we have a, an object, we can then compute delta V between the surface and the interior and interior and this general procedure will work for any type of charged surface or charged object i should say usually it's only solvable for or easily solvable for symmetric objects so in that case it's fairly easy to do the integrals involved Finally, I'd like to thank all my patrons on Patreon. Your support is greatly appreciated, and it is you who makes these videos possible. If you aren't currently a patron, to get early video access, behind-the-scenes footage, exclusive content, and join a like-minded community, click the link on screen or in the description below. Thanks for watching.